Good morning. I'm just doing a little product review because I've just received my new Topeak Tour Guide bar bag. Uh, this is the DX version, which is 7.7 .7 litre capacity. There's a smaller standard version, which is 5.5 .5 litres, I believe. But I'm a sucker for a big burly piece of kit, so I bought the large one. I'm going to have a poke around inside it, uh, I'm going to get it fixed onto the bike and I'm going to take it out for a ride. So if you want to see how I get on with it, how it performs, then uh, carry on watching. So here it is, this is the, the bag. Uh, we're going to just go through all the different bits and pieces. It's got a pocket on the front. This is a single pocket, it's, it's kind of padded there, kind of felty inside it's rather lovely like a baby chick could nestle in there but it's just a single pocket thumb deep on there on the sides we've got a single pocket this is kind of rubberized not very padded but it's quite nice and deep it's got two loops in here where you could maybe stash a GoPro on a pole or something other side is the same, exactly the same pocket. It's about hand size, two loops there. On the top, we have a map compartment, sealed with Velcro, held in with Velcro, so you can get your map in there. On top, the central main compartment you get into is double zipped. The side we have locking mechanism, I'll come to that later. Shoulder strap, kind of handy, attach it to these clips here and here. In the top we've got a zip web pocket, this is the rain cover, I'll come to that later. Inside we have two webbing pockets there and the main compartment which is it's open it's it's slightly padded at the sides pretty rigid all in all feels pretty sturdy um, so we're gonna go and get it on the bike and see what we can see so I'm down at the workshop now uh, I'm gonna fix the thing to the bike I'm not gonna make you watch or try and explain we're all grown-ups it comes with instructions it's probably not that difficult I'm gonna give it a go I'll report back if I have any problems um, you can watch if you want though So here's a point, these two bolts that go into the tops of here, it does matter which side they go on. This one has a hole in it for the cable to go through, this has to go on the left. So that's that done. Uh, that was pretty easy actually, other than getting the bolts the wrong way round and having to re-trim the cable a couple of times. It was actually it took about half an hour maybe. Uh, and I'm rubbish with stuff like this. So it's done now. Here's the final product. You can see that it just attaches with a rather satisfying clunk and comes off just the same with that. Uh, only annoying thing is I'm gonna have to remount my light somewhere else. Um, I'm not sure where there is 
actually a light strap on the front of here, but I'm not sure how it will work with my little dynamo job. We shall see, that's a job for another day anyway. I've actually, I've just noticed rather pleasingly, there is in fact a part in the bag, here it is, which just slips onto the top of there like that and you can mount a light to that and in theory it will shine over the top of the bag. Um, unfortunately, the cable I've got running from my dynamo is just too short to get the light up onto there. So that is a solution. In theory, you shouldn't have to really remount your lights too seriously. I just need to uh, fix up a slightly longer cable. But there you go, problem solved, hopefully. Uh, done 13 miles now on pretty bumpy off-roady type of terrain and I have to say I'm very pleased with it. It um, hasn't slumped on its clip at all, it's not too heavy, it doesn't rattle about too much, it feels really sturdy. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff in there, I've got my camera, lights, cheese and onion pasty, uh, wallet, phone, keys, all kinds of bits and pieces and it's still not even so, all in all, I'm very, very pleased with it. I can sit here below the monument to Lord Wantage and say, it's a damn good bar bag. I can recommend it. <laughs>